100% electric. Electric. 0% of carbon emission. Have you ever imagined seeing machines that can build just about anything? China is leading the way in this aspect by developing advanced machines that can construct anything you can think of. These machines perform complex tasks within short timeframes, and the potential of this technology is limitless. In this video, we will unveil some groundbreaking machines from China that are changing the perspective on construction and design. Number 9. Walking Bucket Wheel Excavator The WK-12 is a state-of-the-art machine used for open pit mining, and it has altered the entire coal mining process in China. Reaching a height of 31 meters, this machine measures 210 meters in length and weighs about 6,000 tons. Even with these figures scale, the WK-12 can walk and move across the mining landscape thanks to the innovations implemented. It is erect and in motion at an open pit now. The operation is led by a portable wheel that can vertically move and rotate with a flat diameter of 20 square meters fitted with multiple efficient buckets. This powerful wheel can, with absolute skill, excavate a whopping 12,000 cubic meters of material every hour. To put that into perspective, it can easily fill around five Olympic-sized swimming pools. Overall, WK-12 increases productivity while drastically changing the mining operations. Due to its never-before-seen design, the WK-12 machine is a planned marvel in the mining and heavy machinery sector. This machine enables what was previously impossible, continuous operations such as that of a conveyor rather than traditional excavators limited in manual scope. Unlike classical models, which painstakingly transport their excavated materials to dump sites to restore functionality to the viable excavators, the WK-12 relies on an intelligent conveyor belt system that permits the effortless removal of materials from the worksite. The machine utilizes cutters instead of conventional bucket techniques, Hence, the term conveyor is used rather than excavator for descriptive purposes. Created by a reputed heavy industry group in Taiwan, the WK-12 was first demonstrated in 2019 at a large open cast coal mine in Inner Mongolia. Introducing this new machine has greatly increased the quantity of coal mining, increased efficiency, and decreased cost. Its ability to change the standard scope of feasibility renders the entire coal mining industry incredibly efficient making it fundamental to set a new benchmark for bus excavators. The next machine will shock you. Number eight, Tian Kun Hao. Tian Kun Hao is often called Asia's most powerful island maker or the magic island maker. This impressive vessel is a remarkable Chinese dredger that can excavate 6,000 cubic meters of sand and silt in an hour. The name of this dredger is derived from the legendary story of a giant fish that transforms into a mythical bird. The ship was launched in November 2017 in Shidong, Jiangsu province. Employing innovative technology, the Tian Kun Hao uses a sophisticated system of pipes to extract sand, mud, and rock from the ocean floor. This makes it one of the most powerful machines in the world. It distinguishes China in its efforts at land reclamation. Many speculate deeply about the dredger's intended purpose. Some sources suggest it will be utilized for extensive island dredging in the South China Sea, which China claims as its territory. Some of its capabilities may also come into play in regions of territorial disputes with Japan, Vietnam, and the Philippines. This highlights the vessel's strategic significance in geopolitical matters. Now the CYP-500 machine next on the list is breathtaking. Number seven, the CYP-500 machine. The CYP-500 track laying machine has been used in many railway construction projects across Southeast Asia. This machine is famous for its efficiency and ease of use, fitting different regional systems. Consequently, it has gained popularity among contractors in the region. With standardized work instructions, workers can easily operate the machine, enhancing the workflow. Another striking feature of the CYP-500 is its laying accuracy, which adds to the productivity and the railway's quality, safety, and structure. For example, the machine can lay a track of approximately two kilometers within a day, helping to exceed the anticipated average daily progress of 1.5 kilometers. Subsequently, with this enhanced productivity, the pace of railway construction increases tremendously, meeting the cut-rise needs of the transportation sector in the area. Number six, the Kunlun machine. Kunlun is an innovative engineering feat. It is the first transport erect machine in the world capable of carrying a remarkable 1,000-ton box girder. 
This machine is a result of advanced development in China's high-speed railway bridge girder erection technology. Now that the country is working on increasing its wide-speed railway network, it will impact the future development of railway construction in China. Kunlun is an example of versatility and innovative design. It was built with the collaboration of the China Railway Fifth Survey and Design Institute Group Corporation Limited and China Railway 11. Bureau Group Corporation Limited, subsidiaries of China Railway Construction Corporation. This machine not only drives the new standard of bridge construction in the modern world, but is also capable of adapting to the needs of the fast-paced world of civil works by managing the high-speed erecting of box girders, assuming spans of 24, 32, and 40 meters. The best part is that this machine efficiently replaces work previously managed by three machines to elevate construction site efficiency and speed. Think about the remarkable Zhengzhou Chongqing High Speed Railway, which links the fast paced town of Zhengzhou in the province of Henan to the lively mountain area of Chongqing in southwestern China. It is worth mentioning that more than 90% of the railway line's path in Chongqing consists of a complicated set of bridges and tunnels, marking a stunning engineering event. One feature that stands out about this Kunlun crane construction is its ability to girder erection on long ramps which incline with tight angles on curved tracks up to an angle of 30 degrees. Its exceptionally advanced engineering makes it capable of extraordinary movement on the difficult railway landscape. Along with its remarkable strength, this Kunlun crane is much lighter than other splitters where it differs most, heightening its effectiveness and operational capacity. This allows it to address various construction issues and improves the building sequence. Moreover, implementing a 40-meter box girder in constructing high-speed railway bridges helps reduce vibration from the high-speed passing trains. This allows them to work at high speed, making the ride comfortable while increasing the reliability of the railway system. Due to its design and engineering competencies, Kunlun can build a specialized girder, which is crucial to supporting China's sudden leap toward 400 km per hour speeds by its high-speed trains. All the raw materials Kunlun uses are very light and incredibly strong. In addition, they have been specially designed to meet the exacting requirements of aviation vehicles and submarines. This choice of materials increases performance and ensures operational safety in harsh conditions. Automating girders indoor and outdoor positioning through different vertical axes is further enhanced by integrating Kunlun's advanced intelligence systems. This advancement greatly reduces the likelihood of error and complicated human control processes during construction. Furthermore, an information management system must be combined with the information management, maintenance, and control platforms to bolster safety and improve operational functionality. This allows operators to access information instantly and ensures the safety of the girders is being monitored so that adjustments can be made within the time limits set by safety requirements. China is now a strong manufacturer of transport erection equipment thanks to its sophisticated new capabilities that have increased its competitiveness in producing and exporting high-speed railway components. The Kunlun machine can operate under special circumstances, making it possible to select bridge locations more freely. Remarkably, it can lower girder erection costs by around 20% and simultaneously raise the erection speed by 25%. Due to its astonishing ability to erect a giant box girder of 1,000 tons, the Kunlun occupies much less of a construction area, making movement and navigation on site easier. The new Fuzhou Shaman Railway is China's first cross-sea high-speed railway, an impressive showcase of this technology. It uses a 1,000-ton, 40-meter box girder, which increases the navigation volume and reduces the impact of tide fluctuations, improving the safety and strength of the cross-sea bridges. The next one you are about to see is called the Iron Monster. Number five, the SLJ 900-32 machine. The Belt and Road Initiative, which China started in 2013, is an ambitious construction project that aims to connect more than 70 economies across land and maritime territories, about two thirds of the world's population. This establishes China as the modern embodiment of the Silk Road, similar to how BRI connects the world. This undertaking allows China to showcase its advanced construction technology among which is SLJ 900-32, a bridge-building crane affectionately referred to as the Iron Monster. It enables speedy, cost-efficient constructions with the other technologies while minimizing the required on-site structures. The Iron Monster is also incredibly efficient at performing various tasks, 
including lifting, transporting, and laying prefabricated full-length track sections at an astonishing 3.1 miles per hour. Developed by the Shijiazhuang Railway Institute and manufactured by Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company, the SLJ 900-32 is designed particularly for rapid multi-span long bridge construction. It facilitates engineering projects keeping pace with great speed, which helps ensure the success of the Belt and Road Plan. One of the Yibin Jinsha River Railway bridges is the longest, serving a double purpose as a road rail steel arch bridge. SLJ 900-32 is the most remarkable example of its class. Before constructing this engineering wonder, a journey to cover the distance between the Chinese provinces of Sichuan and Guizhou was a grueling 12-hour sapping task. This work of art has reduced the time to three hours, paving the way for superb regional linkage. Moreover, this work of engineering is not just a bridge, but part of an initiative that covers numerous other projects, including high-speed rail, most notable of which is the line that opens up Inner Mongolia to the rest of the country as part of a vision to connect 30,000 kilometers of high-speed rail throughout China. This marvelous bridge is built using a unique machine called a bridge gilder, which comprises four modular blocks with 64 rotating wheels. With this machine, the building process is quite simple. It begins with transporting large steel beams from the edge of the bridge to where they need to be secured to the pillars. The machine latches onto the first pillar to separate the beams from their previous locations. Afterward, it glides toward the second pillar, anchored to the falling beam. Once this process is complete, the lanky SLJ 900-32 is used to place new segments that have not been previously secured. During this process, the gilder remains stationary, though an experienced team still needs to manage the entire module to ensure everything runs without an issue. And to keep the machine well-maintained, the Iron Monster is truly an advanced piece of modern engineering. It bridges the gap between modernization and the traditional use of cranes during the construction of bridges by drastically reducing the number of humans required. The machine's components are upgraded to ensure it can clean the parts effortlessly. The Iron Monster showcases significant productivity, particularly on larger projects such as the impressive Belt and Road Initiative. Due to the design of the machine, little to no manual labor is required and scaffolding has been removed. Considering the immense amount of 640 tons, an allowance of weight can be placed on any built bridge. Using this machinery for construction also makes the bridges significantly more durable and safe. Remarkably, China's bridge construction sector employs the Iron Monster, capable of fabricating a new bridge segment every 24 minutes. Due to its ability to fabricate up to 730 segments over its lifetime, the powerhouse bridge segment can now be achieved at an astonishing rate that surprises even industry experts. Using conventional methods, the machine would have taken years to build. Moreover, its ability to be disassembled and assembled for new projects makes it a true workhorse in the Chinese boom economy era. Skeletons of buildings that used to take years to build are now completed within months, illustrating the new efficiency in construction. Do you have any thoughts about this? Number four, CRCHI machine. The CRCHI machine has a notable diameter of 15 meters, making it one of planet Earth's most powerful tunneling machines. This engineering marvel is a true powerhouse with an installed power of approximately 9,755 kilowatts and a considerable rated torque of 42,784 nanometers. Its tunnel boring capabilities and the simultaneous construction of tunnel walls allow the machine to perform with a maximum speed of 50 millimeters per minute. The crooked machine has greatly benefited the mountainous regions of China and the entire country regarding speed rail, subway, and underground metro systems. The rapid development of skyscrapers made the construction of sophisticated underground transportation networks in metropolitan areas possible. The machine's fidelity and rapid construction of underground tunnels have thoroughly improved the transportation infrastructure and urban development possibilities. This next machine has a huge capacity to lift tons of heavy loads, which will further assist in making cities much more integrated and accessible. Number three, Zoomlian Crawler Crane. In heavy lifting, the Zoomlian 32000 Crawler Crane ranks among the largest machines ever built and has earned praise for its staggering maximum lifting capacity of 3,200 tons. To put this into perspective, this crane alone could single-handedly carry the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty and still have substantial capacity remaining. Its height, when fully extended, is 178 meters, 
the height of a 60-story skyscraper. The Zoomlian crane was revealed to the public in 2020, and ever since, it has become an extremely important piece of machinery on almost all large-scale projects across China, especially for projects based around energy. It has assisted in constructing wind-removing energy installations, advanced nuclear power plants, and large processing unit assemblies to build renewables for energy. One striking component of Zoomlian cranes is their unique modular structure, which helps with easy transportation to various job sites regardless of space. This flexibility is critical for coping with the logistical complexities of broad construction endeavors. It can be customized for every undertaking one wishes to pursue. Despite its size, the Zoomlian crane can operate with stupendous precision. Control systems allow operators to move loads only a few millimeters, which is critical for the complex construction of nuclear reactors and other delicate structures. Number two, the XCMG Crawler Crane. The XCMG Crawler Crane is the most powerful crane in the world and one of the largest cranes ever built. It can lift astounding amounts of weight, 4,000 tons to be exact. It is heavy and its machinery is complex, which makes it seem impossible to achieve this feat. But the construction landscape has shifted due to its assembly. It can lift the weight equivalent to 4,000 cars, which evokes the possibility of utilizing larger prefabricated components within buildings to speed up the construction process and aid in setting new records for completion times. The strength of the XCMG crane does not define its entirety. A more sophisticated form of engineering allows it to put loads with impressive millimeter accuracy. This blends nuance with strength, making it invaluable in nuclear power plant construction and wind turbine assembling. As we know, the incorporation of the XCMG crane has changed construction. Its capacity to lift much more advanced, heavier loads than its predecessors comes with more changes. It calls for an overhaul of the old construction methodologies. Parts previously constructed on site can now be constructed in more controlled environments and placed with the help of the crane. This saves a lot of time and reduces the resources used in supervision. This is a new era for effective construction. What do you think of this? Number one, the Mega Tunnel Boring Machine. Alterations in the Mega TBM put it at the forefront of innovation in the field. Designed to favor the functionality of high altitude environments, the TBM promises to exceed industry standards. Whether soft, expansive, or battling hard granite, the Mega TBM is poised to operate through various geological formations. It will do all this while battling the rugged, high-risk landscape accompanied by potential earthquakes and severe temperature shifts. Highlighting the immense task it embarks on, the mega tunnel boring machine is set to begin tunneling through the daunting Himalayan ranges, while also battling extreme geological conditions. Along with these conditions, the mechanized marble is equipped to deal with high-level ground stress, the risk of rock bursts, and intense geothermal heat. Challenging is an understatement when it comes to the task at hand. The TBM is significantly altering the previously held perception of what is possible by assuming a more robust approach. In addition to these changes, the tall order of drilling a multi-purpose tunnel that is pivotal to Tibet, the Taiwan Railroad Stride should begin by adjusting the pre-established cost of 47.8 billion. The 1,118-mile stretch is estimated to reach completion in 2030, starting from the capital of Taiwan, Yangzhou, and ending in Lhasa. Mega tunnel boring machines are expected to be the costliest TBMs constructed to date, owing to their sheer size and massive capabilities. Such investment shows the nature of TBMs in modern construction engineering practices being manufactured today. China is a great example of the improvement of the construction industry worldwide. Its engineering and construction practices always set new standards, making the processes easier and more effective. New technologies and methods of urban and infrastructure development are being developed at an astonishing pace and implemented worldwide. What are your thoughts concerning these remarkable machines? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Before you go, explore the other exciting videos available on your screen.